Hey kids, thanks for coming back and checking out the Kristen Starfish Show. I'm Kristen, this is my starfish, and we're here to teach you all about marine biology. Did you ever want to be a marine biologist? Yeah, for as long as I can remember, I loved being in the water. I was like a fish growing up. Even in Canada, I swam through all the lakes, checking everything out with my snorkel and my dive mask, just seeing what fish I could find. I have to say, I think in Australia it's a little bit more fun swimming because there's so many different things you're going to see in the ocean. Okay, let's go check out my favorite shark now, the lemon shark. Thanks for taking a dive with me. Let's learn about lemon sharks. Now lemon sharks are not typically aggressive towards humans at all, which means they're super docile. Now here we have Larry, the lemon shark. Oh, there I am. Oh, look, black tip reef shark. They're often hanging out with Larry in the lagoon at Heron Island. Now lemon sharks have yellow brown skin and it's that color that allows camouflage in the sand. They like to move along the reef. How many fins can you count? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I counted eight too. Now lemon sharks are able to adapt to lots of different environments, which is really cool. The longest recorded has even been 3.7 meters. That's huge. Going through the bait ball here. Oh, this was super scary. Now they're most often found in shallow reefs or coastal habitats like mangroves or inland bays. And this is all around the world but here I am with Larry in Australia. I think the coolest thing about lemon sharks is that they can actually give birth to live youngs, meaning they're viviparous. Yeah, they can have up to 17 pups. That's what a baby shark is called in their belly. That would be a lot of babies to have in a shark belly. Oh, here we are all done seeing Larry heading back in after a dive. Here we have the shipwreck at Heron Island, one of the most spectacular places. And as we come back from the dive, look, you never know what you see. A spotted eel ray was right under the boat. Coming into the harbor after a great day on the water, nothing better. You know what, starfish? That was one of the scariest things I've ever done. Swimming through all those little fish looking for a shark? That's just crazy. But you know what? Sometimes when we do things that are super scary, they give the best memories. So I encourage you to do anything that makes you scared. At least give it a try. B. B. Batfish. Okay, what else can we do today? Hmm. I do love math. Should we do some counting? All right, let's go do afternoon tea. One, two, three. All right, welcome back to afternoon tea. One, two, three. This is where we combine two of my favorite activities, eating and math. If you're doing this at home, it is something super easy you can do with your kids too to get them excited about math and counting. Okay, we're gonna eat our fast foods today. Now, what are the fast foods? These are the ones that give us super power. They make us super smart, super strong. Yep, your fruit and vegetables. So we've got some apples and some carrots. Okay, and who's our special guest today? Yep, we've got, who are these? My favorite octopus. And this one's pink, he's so cute. All right, octopus, you get to wear the hat today. Oh, it looks really good on you. All right, starfish, how are you doing today? Are you getting hungry? I think so. I think it's time to eat. Don't forget, at afternoon tea, we gotta wear fancy hats. 
Okay. What would you guys like to start with first? Would you like a carrot? We only have three carrots. And there's three of us. So if we all eat one carrot, two, three, how many are left? We had three carrots to start with. I'm eating one, starfish is eating one, octopus is eating one. Yep, there are no more carrots left. All right, cheers. Pssh. Remember, you don't really wanna talk and have food in your mouth, do you? Okay. Back to our apples. We have one, two, three, four, five, six apples left. All right, I'm pretty full after that carrot. Who wants an apple? You want one starfish? Okay, one for starfish. And what about you, octopus? How many would you like? Oh, are you super hungry? You wanna have three? Okay, so we had six apples to start with. Starfish is gonna have one. Octopus is gonna have three. One and three make four. So what is six? And if we take away four or we subtract four, yep, you're right, we got two left. All right, eat up guys. All right, thanks for eating with us today on afternoon tea, one, two, three. Thanks for learning with me today on the Kristen Starfish Show. Remember, if you want to send me an email, I can be reached anytime at drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. Please like and subscribe to these videos. I love making them for you. I hope you like watching them. Now remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be really happy starfish. Thanks for letting me into your home. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.